What's up, you guys? Welcome back again to your Hero Clicks headquarters. Today, we're going to be checking out these awesome new Play at Home kits. Thanks to WizKids for sending me this early to unbox for you guys. So first of all, we have the new She-Hulk Play at Home kit. Now, this one you're going to be able to buy at your local game store and everything, or buy it online, wherever. But uh, this one is the WizKids Shop exclusive, so you're going to have to go to WizKids.com to be able to pick this one up. Um, I have no idea what is in either of these. So this is super fun for me because usually I know everything already. But we're going to take a look at both of these. And uh, like usual, we're going to, you know, go through both of them, kind of compare and contrast, see which ones may be better if you can only pick up one. Although you guys know me, I'm always going to say both is better. <laughs> always pick both. But, you know, without further ado, let's just get right into this. All right. So uh, just sliding that one out like so we can see we do get um, the She-Hulk. This is like the rare She-Hulk sculpt, and she's in her like purple lawyer outfit, uh, so that's pretty cool. And let's take a look at what else we got here. We got some maps, very interesting. Ooh, and we got some terrain, my favorite. So, oh, very cool. Looks like we got some black and white terrain, like from Werewolf by Night. That's awesome. And we got some uh, like uh, courtroom terrain, I think, there. So yeah, actually, we don't really have to pop these out. It doesn't look like they do anything special, I don't think. But, you know, you can take a look there. You can see all the stats. So this black and white bush, um, <laughs> you can throw it four squares where it gives you giant reach two. Um, two damage when thrown, plus one for close attacks. Three damage to blow it up. Um, you know, ooh, four range. This is great. Four square giant reach for this right here. That's going to make buying this whole set worth it. A four square giant reach, only a plus one damage, but still, that is a massive giant reach when using that terrain in an attack. And then we have this other black and white bush here. This is actually blocking terrain. Um, so that gives you giant reach three. That's not bad at all. And then we have this desk here, giant reach two, plus two, plus one. So yeah, I'm not seeing any crazy, uh, plus two or plus three damage values, but some really great giant reach here for that terrain. And let's rip open this map and see how this is. Uh, we'll take a look at the She-Hulk here in just one second, but uh, I want to take a look at the map first. All right, you guys, I love these maps. Sorry I can't really zoom out enough for you to see everything at once, but this is the courtroom indoor. Um, so this is just like, you know, on the She-Hulk show, just inside the courtroom. We were there a few times in the show. Uh, there's just a lot of hindering, a lot of hindering on this map. Let's just flip it around here uh, so you guys can check out this other side. It looks like that's where the wall was busted in. And uh, there's the uh, where the judge sits and uh, some more where the jury sits and everything over there. Very cool. Like that map a lot. All right. And then on the other side here, it's the uh, Obama Stay Yurt. So very cool map here. Um, it's got a lot of elevated around the sides with a little bit of blocking. And uh, what's very interesting is this is an indoor-outdoor map. We do not get a lot of these. So they're, they're pretty special in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, sorry again, can't zoom it out much further. Um, but yeah, that is a very cool, you know, it's a lot of hindering in there inside the building. It's got a few different points of entry and then just, yeah, a little more elevated up there on the side. Very cool. I like these maps a lot. If I can, I'll try to uh, take like a full picture of the map to put on screen for you guys, but uh, they're very cool. Anyway, let's take a look at this She-Hulk here. Uh, so she has the Obama Stay Avengers Brute and Celebrity keywords. Uh, trait Jennifer Walters, attorney at law. She Hulk and adjacent friendly characters have safeguard opposing perplex. Not too bad. And then she has a damage power that gives her outwit. And when She Hulk uses it after resolutions, roll a d6. On a four through six, She Hulk may use outwit again. This may repeat. What in the world? I'm ready to give my closing argument now. Wow, she can just outwit you infinitely if she keeps rolling high enough. That's nuts. Only 60 points, got charge, super strength, invuln, and normal outwit to start. Man, I just wish she started with that special outwit. That would be insane. Uh, but, you know, it makes sense. It's closing arguments, right? They have to, you know, you got to fight for a little bit <laughs> to get to the closing arguments. Uh, that's very cool, though. I like that a lot. It's nice that she and adjacent friendlies get safeguard perplexed, but really that uh, that infinite outwit there at the end is pretty freaking awesome. All right, not too bad. Now let's take a look at this awesome uh, Yelena play-at-home kit. 
And uh, yeah, let's just see what she can do here. Let's see, slide her out here um, and pop her out of the plastic. And it does look like she's just the, uh, the same sculpt again as the like uncommon version of her in the set. And let's see, let's start off with the terrain again. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you can take a look at all of these uh, new terrains that we have here. Uh, again, we got three square giant reach, plus one damage on that big hunk of blocking. We got some just broken like bricks or something, uh, some just hunks of concrete or something. What are these? <laughs> these look like pieces of wall or something. So I'm not seeing any crazy stats. These all seem kind of like the average stats here. This one gives giant reach of three also, plus one damage. And then, yeah, we got Giant Reach 2 plus 1 damage. So, yeah, I'm not seeing any crazy damage values, but lots of really long Giant Reach terrain. So, especially with that She-Hulk one, that is a big a big plus for me. A four-square Giant Reach terrain is going to be pretty huge, I think. I mean, it is pretty huge. It's freaking four squares. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, actually to play, it's going to have a pretty great effect. So, let's see what this map looks like. Okay, so on the one side here, it is just another of the same uh, Obama Stay yurt. But then on the other side of this one, we get Kate's apartment, which uh, I was a huge fan of Hawkeye. So, this is really cool to see Kate's apartment. We have, uh, looks like her, just her TV and her couch. You know, there's a little desk over there. Uh, it goes, you know, to some elevated terrain. Then there's that little table there that uh, Yelena and her sat at and ate some mac and cheese or whatever. Uh, yeah, and then just some random blocking around there. You know, a lot of elevated around the edges. Uh, yeah, very interesting map. I like this one a lot. All right, so pretty cool maps and terrain. Let's take a look at what this Yelena can do. She has uh, the team player team ability, so she's a wild card. She's got marksman, thunderbolts, assassin, martial artist, and spy keywords. She has, I made some macaroni if you want some trait for support. Just traded support, love that. Uh, she has another trait, I love hot sauce, poison. Characters, Elena healed this turn, can use poison. That's pretty awesome. Uh, have you ever eaten reindeer? Super senses and toughness on the back half of her dial there. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. Stealth, combat reflexes, and prop. Not bad for 40 points. She's a great little supporting character, literally supporting and literally support too. She actually has the support power and prob. Very cool for 40 points, not bad. She has poison and she's giving out poison. I think the coolest thing about that is that she could heal up somebody that's, you know, like double based or even two by two base, like, you know, Kong or somebody like that, some other colossal. And uh, then they would be able to have poison and they just have like a bigger area of effect poison. That'd be pretty interesting. I, I like that a lot. Um, you know, and even just healing up somebody that's in the middle of a fight, and you know, that maybe carried her up with them or something. Uh, they got punched, she heals them up with support, and your opponent doesn't realize that, boom, they get a hit with some poison right there out of nowhere. That's pretty awesome. All right, so my final verdict on these two, if I had to say, I think I like Yelena a little bit more. She-Hulk is not bad, a fun dial. I love the infinite outwit potential, uh, but it is at the back half of her dial, unfortunately. Yelena, you know, she's got everything going on top dial pretty much, except for her defense power. But it just means when she does take a hit, she's like super hard to KO, super senses toughness and shape change. Gotta love that. And I think it's hilariously uh, accurate to that, that episode, that scene where she was eating the mac and cheese. Uh, That's great. So yeah, as far as the figures go, I like Yelena actually a little bit more than She-Hulk. She-Hulk's pretty cool though. But as far as the maps and the terrain go, I gotta give it to She-Hulk. The uh, actual four square giant reach terrain in her play at home kit, but also the maps. You know, I love Kate's apartment. That is such a cool map, but the courtroom just looks really interesting to me. Um, you know, I do like stealth, so there's a lot of hindering on there for a lot of stealthy teams, but you gotta love the elevated from the, uh, the Kate Bishop's apartment one. You know, there's a lot of great characters that can like see through elevated now, so that could be a good map for them. But yeah, for me, it's really the terrain there 
that uh, pushes it in She-Hulk's favor just a little bit. That four square giant reach terrain, I can't get over that. That's gonna see some play for sure. But yeah, I think they're they're pretty close. I like both of these play at home kits a lot. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video or got anything out of it, make sure to smash that like button. It does help me out a lot. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more, make sure to check the links in the description for the Patreon or hit the join button down there for the YouTube memberships. Either way, for as little as $1 a month, you get entered into the monthly giveaways and get to see your name here in the credits with all these other awesome people. So that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Till next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.